out of shop putting my microphone on and putting my little microphone hoozy what's it in my pocket so how are we all going today I have got um, my big screen happening here and I am looking at the chat on my phone you guys so I'm gonna have to look down a bit to read your comments today just because it's a bit too far away don't want to put my glasses on so um, I find a struggle with uh, my glasses and all the lighting and seeing the things I need to see because I can't, I don't need them for close up, just far away. <laughs> so welcome to the chat. We've got lots of people who have been in here for ages. I was setting up and I saw heaps of you going. I'm just going to occasionally wave my hand under here so we can work out if it freezes like it did last time. I'm actually just going to give my uh, computer a little bit less work to do. There we go. All right. Um, so many people in the chat, you guys. So many people in the chat. Uh, Freaky Geek was in here, Was I think Kim was first, I think I noticed Kim first. So good morning to everybody or evening. Elizabeth Stephan said, did you get many pick requests in? I did get a few in and it was so hard to choose, so many amazing colours to choose from. So um, Andrew, I'm a bit, you know, I'm a bit stressed. Why aren't the pans straight? Kim, I, I it's purposefully just to upset you, that's why the pans aren't straight. Um, oh, Kim says Freaky was in beforehand. Okay, well, well done, Freaky. Um, where, what, I'm just having a quick scroll through the chat, see if I've missed any questions already. Um, I was going to say I think you forgot something. I don't know. So I just had my last sip of coffee, so I may have to beg Andrea, who's floating around the background, to uh, to slop another cup into a, a mug for me a bit later on. So I will um, may have to do that. <laughs> um, Freaky says, I've been in and out for two hours. I'm so sorry I made you wait, Freaky. Um, we've got uh, a few colours. I chose five pictures, but the reality is I'll probably get three done. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I do just have to watch because my, my microphone is not wireless. I do have to just sort of move carefully. So I might take a bit longer when I'm out of shot grabbing yarn, things like that. I've got all my dyes set up in bottles over here, which you can't see. We're having a, a bit of a different go today. Rather than me mixing them into jugs, I mixed it into squeeze bottles. Kim's saying extra long dye stream. Well, you know, it, we tend to go over when we do a dye stream, Kim. We, you know we do. We tend to wait. Um, so Pippin loves the dye stream. Welcome to the dye stream, Pippin Poppycock. Um, I but nice says so epic. I hope they somehow come. Oh, okay. You're talking about a TV show. Which one was it? I saw that before. Good Omens. I haven't seen it, so no spoilers. Okay, you guys. 
Um, I don't have uh, Amazon, so I'm not going to get to see it until someone else picks it up. Uh, all right. Well, do you guys want to see the first photo that we're dying today? Um, I suppose you're going to see it no matter what. So let me. Just, I have to just lean in. I'm just going to do this so I can see what you guys see. There we go. We have got this beautiful flower from Chintamani. It's got some amazing colours in it. So I'm just going to. I just. What I do is I actually drop the, the screen off my screen just so it's doing less work. Really, is what it boils down to. But. Um, I'm having some problems with my laptop this morning. It keeps, the mouse keeps sliding over to try and do something in particular. And I don't know what's going on. So I hope we don't accidentally end the stream and it's just a flickering that ha is happening on my end. So we've got this gorgeous flower. So I've got some beautiful um, ochre kind of colour and a nice vermilion, which probably wouldn't do it unless we put it over the ochre. So we're kind of going to colour mix the vermilion into that orangey red. So fingers crossed that it works. I don't actually have, I haven't planned to put any of that sort of, that grey green through it. We can see what it is. Freaky Geek, I have no idea what the flower is and I'm not sure Chintamani. Oh, Chintamani is in the chat. Do you know what the flower is, Chintamani? So first things first, I'm going to just step aside and grab yarn. Oh, Andrea is going to do that for me. Um, I think we're going to go with some four ply. We've got some water already hot and ready to go here. So I think just two will be fine. Just these are the smaller pans. And we want to get a bit of uh, separation. So we're going to get those in. Because there's no dye in the pan yet, we don't have to worry too much about, you know, getting them in evenly and quickly but we do want them to be placed sort of evenly, if that makes sense. Something just beeped. Oh, skeiner, skeiner. Andrea is also skeining more yarn because next Tuesday we have the Redlands Open Day here. Um, I'm just going to need to. Um, so we're madly dyeing extra yarn and things like that. Somebody remind me, I've got a little pack to show you guys that Andrea and I put together. We had so much fun with it, probably more fun than we should have had. Just, is, I mean, is that a thing? Is that really a thing, more fun than you should have had? Anyway, let me have a look at, see what you guys are saying here in the chat. It's a type of pansy. Annie says it's called a Johnny Jump Up. Really? It's a native flower to the Blue Mountains. Okay, so, so everybody, if you can remember, to make sure you've got your live chat rather than your top chat set up because, yeah, it is um, it's one of those things. I'm just going to see if I can get over it to where I don't have enough cord. Hang on a second. I did not plan that out. I can't get to the die. No, no, it's all right. I, I needed to untangle my cord. Look at this. I've got to untangle this. This is my microphone cord, you guys. All right, there we go. Got some beautiful gold ochre. Oops, crash. I'm thinking, why is that doing that? No, I remembered it's a second lid. Okay, and some vermilion. Okay, so I've mixed these up um, earlier. We've got a bit of heat getting into this yarn now, which is good. We don't want it to get too hot. We don't want to burn it. But we're also trying not to have too much moisture in there. So this has been a bit zhuzhed around. So we're just going to go hard and get it in there. Because we don't want it totally covered because we do want some spots of um, where the pinky red is the pinky red on its own. But we do also want some of it, I'm just making sure we get these corner bits because they're a bit thicker. All right, I should probably have gloves on. Hey, Andrea, yeah. would you mind passing me over the gloves, please? Um, I'm going to put my hands on it and mush it, and I don't want yellow hands, even just one hand. <laughs> oh, I've just realised something. They're all going to get to laugh at me while I put gloves on again. <laughs> I'm the worst at putting gloves on. 
I'm just going to move this away so you can't see me do it because it's sad is what it is. Oh, my God. These have got no stretch. These have got no stretch. <laughs> <laughs> it's so embarrassing. And no, <laughs> Andrea's going live on Instagram with how hard it is for me to get a glove on. <laughs> They're still not on. <laughs> Oh, I think I've done it. I think I've got it. Oh my god. I mean, it didn't help that my oh, hand was damp. Oh, oh. <laughs> yes, for the fact that Andrew is not tech savvy. See, look, this is a problem. I got my little white hands and look, I've got that's that's the glove goes to there, but my finger only goes to there. So, oh my gosh. Um Where are we? So yeah, it didn't help that my hand was a little damp. I probably should have dried it a bit better. But it, it doesn't matter. I'm just very bad at putting gloves on. I just, I don't know why I fail so miserably at putting gloves on. Now, I do want a bit of even colour coverage. I am going to flip these and get a bit of the ochre on this side as well. We don't always flip here at Fiberific, but for this one, we will. Because we're going hard with the ochre. So, there we go. Squirt a bit more of that in there. Definite science here. Look at me sciencing all over the place. Just squirt a bit. Let's not measure it. Nothing. All right. There we go. Probably could do with a dash more. We're nearly out in this bottle. I ran out. That's all right. We got there. We got enough, I think. All right. Now we are going to put the red on the one side. We're not going to flip it for the red. What are you guys talking about? Wonder how many colours her left hand will be by the end of the stream. Um, yeah. Well, considering I only put one glove on and I will automatically accidentally touch it because I can't help myself. I'm just splodging in random spots here. We've got two skeins of the Pegasus 4 ply that we're doing in this particular colour because I ran out of yellow. And it'd be fine if I had have measured how much dye I put into the bottle to start with, but I didn't. So I can't make another one. This is it. This is a Fibrific Limited one of a time colour. And this is why. Because I don't measure when I'm doing live streams, you guys. I'm having too much fun just squirting the colour. What do you think, Chintami? Do you like? We're going to have some nice sort of soft orange-hued bits as well. I think we're going to need more red. All right. There we go. I'm just going to pick up my phone so I can check out what you guys are talking about behind my back. Sunny side up. It's very scientific. It's very scientific. Absolutely. Do you know how I can't swipe? <coughs> I can't swipe with the glove on. Ah, oh, you guys are terrible. Maddie watches a guy called Game Theory on YouTube. He does these awesome explanations about things and then says, um, too long, didn't read science stuff. Splodging, another technical term. You, you, come to, you come to me for all the technical terms, right? Um, is Andrew taking notes? No, Andrew's inside scanning yarn. Nobody ever takes notes. Exactly. I've got my repeatable colourways, which we don't do on the dye stream. These are special. These are like I'm inspired by your picture and mushing colours together. <laughs> Freaky says I take notes and then lose them. I'm trying not to dye, Kim. Don't worry. Definitely trying not to die, for sure. Um, looks like a pepperoni pizza. It does a bit, yeah. <coughs> what will happen is as, the, um, as you use the yarn, you'll actually just have red spots um, or red sections of yarn. 
But your repeatables are lovely. I do try to make my repeatables lovely. Thank you. The spots are melding together. They are a little, aren't they? Red speckles in the red bits. Sally says, I never take notes. I should take notes. But Sally, I look, I understand entirely. Don't worry. I definitely understand. Okay. Oh, don't touch your face with the dye covered glove, Chantel. Hey, Andrea. Andrea's going to take this pan away from me in a second. I'm just going to pop a lid on it so that it can heat up a bit. Um, Andrea, yeah. could you fill that back up with some warm water for me, pretty please, at Krispies? Oh, and this one too. Thank you. We used all the dye, you guys, on that one. And I needed those colours for other things. You know? <laughs> <coughs> okay. I'm going to see if I can... I've got my chat here. There we go. Um, try nothing, you succeed. What? You do better with the glove. Why do you bother with the glove? Look, it was because this particular one I was going to mush it with my hands. The others I'm not planning on mushing quite so much, okay? Um, Oh, uh, hi, Elizabeth. Welcome to the chat. Andrea works here at Fiberific. She is um, my dye assistant. She comes in a couple of times a week and helps me keep on top of all the dyeing. And uh, during the live stream, she comes in to sort of move pans in and out so I can stay here and be lovely on camera. Um, no, no choking. I saw that, Kim. Don't choke. Um, but yeah, Andrea comes in and helps out and because I'm kind of, I'm tethered, I've got microphone cords, it does make it a bit tricky and it's not good form for me to walk away for too long and if I've, you know, accidentally run out of dye, it's handy to ask Andrea to do it for me. Um, hit up that inhaler, we prefer your breathing. I've already done my inhaler today, I can't have another one again for some time. I've Just pop them over there for me please, lovely, I'll, I'll add dye to them in a second. Um, um, New subscriber didn't know who you were. Ah, I don't this, know where I'm looking. Hi! And, <laughs> look at the white line. Hi, uh, okay. This Hi. is Andrew, everybody. Um, it needs greyish, green or brown. It, look, it does, but that's not where we're going with this one. All right, I'll take the lid off, Andrea. Yep. And that way it's easy to carry because you can see the handle, but then if you want to pop the lid back on. Okay. I was going more with the flower than the whole image. Yeah, I like it too. Yeah. Crash. That's just more pans. Don't panic. Andrea's not hurt. <laughs> or, you know, or not hurt enough for us to worry about it. Oh, I'm harsh. We need more yarn, Andrea. We're going to move on to the next picture. Yep. I'm going to read the, read the, um, Kim's shocked that you came on camera. Um, lots of people saying hi to Andrea. Lovely to see you. Um, soon, Andrea will have her own channel with live streams. She doesn't think so. Um, Beatrice Reed is a new subscriber as well. Welcome, Beatrice. Welcome to the chat. Um, so hard to get good help. <laughs> that was from Kim. That was from Kim. That wasn't from me. That was from Kim. Okay. I just needed to clarify that. Get some heat going in this pan. <coughs> Okay, so I've got to change pictures, don't I? So let me have a look and see what we're going to go with next. Um, we are going to go, I need to pop that one away and get out this one. Make sure it's on screen. There we go. Odd but nice sent in a beautiful picture of her kitty. Um, I'm just messing with Kim's head by having the pans angled. Um, it, it wasn't planned at all. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Um, so we've got this beautiful greyish sort of kitty with these beautiful green eyes. So I'm taking some liberties with some of the colour tones. Sorry, guys, I tend to do that. Um, and we'll see how it comes out. So I'm thinking some four-ply and some eight-ply in the kitty. I have two pans. Here's a pan I prepared earlier. Actually, I didn't prepare it, Andrea did. But yeah, two of each would be great. Thank you. No, no, they're good. They're just water. And we're going to go with an undertone of a soft grey. It looks grey to me. Um, and then with a nice little splodges of green. I'm not going to just do two spots because it's two eyes. I'll do some random splodgy mixed splodger pants. 
Oh, there we go. And we've got two DK as well. Okay. Did you want to get a third pan ready, Andrea? Oops, sorry. My head's in the way. You guys are checking out my grey hair. Okay. Alrighty. What I need is the grey. Where We did a nice big grey. Can I get you just to pop like a little splosh of warm water in there? Not too much, just a little bit. This one's got enough. This one just dried up a bit because yarn's hungry. A bit more, there's like good junk. There you go. That's enough, thanks. Just to keep the yarn from going dry and burning. I'm just going to bring up the chat. The kitty cat's name is Emerald and they call her Emmy. Um, yeah, that's enough. Now we're going to press it in. This is already acided it up, isn't it? We're getting... Look at that! That looks like Illuminati stuff going on there. We're going to kill it. Squash, squash. It actually didn't... It Because we've got acid in the water already, it's already struck. So I might have to actually make up a jug of grey. Can you grab me some... Just steal me some water out of the pot? Yeah. And I'll just mix some dye into it. Otherwise we're going to have stripy kitties. You should draw the yarn ninja. I can try, but I'm really rubbish at drawing. Are we ready? Here you go. <laughs> Don't look at that. We're going to fix that. It's okay. We're going to fix that. Don't even worry. Can you pop into a 30 second or 30 tooth of um, that big one? Thanks. We're making a bit more of a grey bath just to cover these a bit better. Is that a or a drop? Um, it's the smallest one. Okay. The one covered in yellow. So, because that, that didn't do that. Um, the curves go the other way, dude. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> she's a tabby. She has stripes. Okay, well, that's good to know. She does have stripes. So, you know, maybe we could just go a bit harder with some stripes. We might just do this, Andrea. We're going to go with the stripes. We're running with stripes. No, we won't make it up. I did, yeah. That was my excuse to make Andrea wash the spoons. Now this is two different bases. The one on this side is the DK8 ply and this one here that we've used all the grey dye on. Isn't that a great sound? Can you top that up for me pretty please? Thank you. And now we have some beautiful green that I made earlier. I hope you like it. It's a mix of lots of different greens. Now don't panic, it will soften off a little. See how it goes a bit paler? Because you guys have to remember that the yarns always go a bit paler once they dry. And once they break up with the cream as well, because we've got lots of cream going in here too. One, two, three, four, and then... All right. What do you think? Do you like this green? Oh, yeah, I absolutely have to put green for sure. There was no way the green was not happening. Because <clears throat> it's like I'm really playing with the grey in the green and we're sticking with the fact that you said she's got stripes. So we're, we're going with the, the mottled grey rather than any sort of good coverage of grey. And what we're going to do is we're going to flip it over so that because the underside of these is pretty well white still. Um, can you pop a 30 tooth in there?
So it's basically grey and quite sort of a really nice eye-catching green with some stripes here. Oh, that water's getting warm in that one. What are you on? Oh, you're on I'm doing double zero flashy things. We'll just turn you off, shall we? Let's do that. Cooker is insane. Oh, lovely. I met in the bottle. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Good help and all that. Yeah. So hard to find. Um, yeah, okay. I don't know where you want to tip that. We'll just tip it in the pot. Close up of Chantel's blue hair. Woo! -hoo! I stuck my head right under the camera for that. Everyone got to see all my grey roots and everything. Um, I think you tummy dialed. I may have tum Well, uh, this one's over here and it's not near my tummy and I think I dropped water. And sometimes the water does that and it's a bit evil. Don't worry about the little lid. Thanks, Andrea. Sorry about that. It's all good. More grey stripes. Ah, this grey seems a lot... You use that grey? Yeah. That's all right. We've got a bit of tonal change happening here. But that's okay. Because it's even across all of it. We'll get some more green in here too. Actually, I really like how this grows. And because you're going to have the splotches of the darker grey from the other side. All right, green. Green, more green. Do you think more green, you guys? Do you think a, a bit more green? Freaky Geek, where are you? Oh, okay, yep. Hopefully we get... Oh, I can't see all the comments, you guys. So those of you that are new to the chat, the dice streams, I do struggle a little bit with keeping up with the chat just because I've got to watch this as well. So if I miss your comment, pop it in again, okay? Um, green it up. More green. I think they want more green. Yay, more green. Mm. More green, more green, more green. That Emerald's eyes, Emmy's eyes are so beautiful. Honestly, but I don't think we could have too much, if that makes sense. I think I'm going to need to make more green because I thought that was going to last for the, the other colour. Whoops, the answer is no. Mush that in a little, have a little look and see which bits are a bit, you know, need a bit more love. We can pop a bit more grey or a bit more green onto them. I think this DK is okay. I'm happy with that one. But I think we need just a splosh of green up here in the corners. There we go. So on the other side, we've got the darker green. So when you're actually knitting or crocheting it up, you're going to get a bit of green on either side. So you'll have sections that have got the lighter grey and the darker grey. And so it'll be have uh, there'll be some serious movement in your projects in this one between the greens and the greys, for sure, for sure. There's some big green love hearts coming on screen, Andrea. Um, her eyes haven't changed since she was little. They were huge on her as a kitten as well. Oh, um, where are we? Looking good. Everyone's liking this one. Okay, so if we can give them, oh, that's... We just need just we'll just pop their lids on for just a second to get a bit of heat into them. We just we do want to make sure they colour set. So sometimes we have to allow you know for sciencing. So we'll just stand here and read the chat. Hey Andrea, yeah. I know this is not your purview. Any chance you could fill me up another cup of coffee? Thank you. Sorry guys, I drank the last drinks of my coffee just as we were sort of going live and yeah, about the same as yours. 
Um, three quarter coffee, one quarter milk. Now you all know how I like my coffee, so you know, no excuses. <laughs> Um, there's too many Kims in the chat. There's a lot of Kims and a lot of Emmas as well. Odd but nice says, oh, I want it all but budget. Oh, I totally understand. There are so many things. Like, because I've got, I've got two passions, right? I've got this yarn passion and the fiberific passion. But I actually, hang on. But I also have my technology passion. So how all this sort of started was I love Fiberific and I loved my yarn business and I wanted to step it up a notch. And um, so I decided, decided to start making YouTube videos to teach people how to use the pro products that I was selling. And so I thought that would make life easier for people, right? And it did. It worked. It was good. And then I sort of, I was just using an old camera that I had. I did go out and buy a mic because I didn't have one at all. So I needed to do something about that. Um, and, you know, so I sort of just grabbed a couple of things, but my problem is I want like a wireless microphone so I'm not attached to a cord now and, I, you know, I want all the things. Oh, Andrea, that right? that's perfect. Yeah. Thank you very much. Mm, just what I needed. Thank you. Don't put dye in it. I'll try not to put dye in my coffee, Mum. <laughs> um, and... You were on with Grace this morning to right. Sorry? Oh, I think I missed something there. Um, I thought the yarn was fiberific. I'm con I think that that's freaky, so I'm, I'm confused, but that could be because of freaky. So, <laughs> um, lots of discussion on Emma's and Emily's. Um, lots of people chatting. It's so pretty. I got on the live chat. I'm Michelle P. Welcome to the chat. You made it. Also, it's Crochet Clock has made it. Hey, hey Stephanie. Um, where are we? I'm just check, checking out the thread here. We're just letting these heat up a little before we move them. This one's ready to move. This one's not. So I'm just going to step aside because I've got a cord here. So I'll grab that so you can grab the handles. I should turn that off, right? And I'm going to just check why this other one is not heating up. Um, probably, possibly because I press pause on the heat rather than increase the heat. That could be why. That could totally be why, Andrea. Totally. Yeah. Thanks, Andrea. Okay. You're doing great. Um, Do where are we? What was that? Do I get to keep my job? <laughs> For today, yeah. yeah. Um, where are we? Lots of people chatting. Bye, Yarn. We will see you again. <laughs> oh, I will see you again. Odd but nice, whose photo it was on Instagram, is very um, attached to this particular colourway. So what will happen, if, you're, if, if I choose your photo to dye, um, we'll dye, and you get first refusal on the yarn. So there's no, there's no um, expectation that you'll purchase it. But you also get first choice. So what I'll do is once it's dry this afternoon, I'll throw a photo through on Instagram and you need to I'll put in a time that I need to know by and we can sort out all the details after that. But then I'll put them up on my website tomorrow under the, the Fiberific Limited pages. So we've got some lovely colours coming. Um, we've done Chintamani's beautiful native flower. And now we've also it's starting to heat up now, so that's good. We'll just give it another minute. Um, we've also got Chin um, Odd But Nice's gorgeous cat Emmy, which was this emerald green one here with the grey and the green for the stripy pussy cat um, that you can see on screen still because I haven't moved it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so put some green speckles on them. Ka Kylie, you're a speckle fanatic. Kylie is Fiber Lily, and if you don't know, Fiber Lily does the most amazing speckles. I'm pretty rubbish at speckles. Um, is your Insta fiberific? Yes, it is. And if you want me to look at your photos for next time, pop in hashtag fiberific inspo, which I've just realised there's a typo on my little thing. I didn't put the I in for inspo. So on the hashtag fiberific inspo, make sure there's an I in there, otherwise I won't see it. I need to fix this, but I can't do it while, you know, I'm doing this. Um, there's no refusing. Some of that is mine. I just have to work out how much. <laughs> I understand, I do. Um, 
Vera, I'm so sorry who I was calling Kim. I don't know, Sabrina. I've tried to control my pain. Okay. Sorry, Kathleen. Thank you, Kim, for popping that up. Um, Annie, are you okay? He's in self-proclaimed yarn jail. Not surprised, Annie, at all. Um, <laughs> not surprised. I am shipping your parcel tomorrow, just so you know. Those of you that jumped in and grabbed that awesome special that was the um, the – Charlotte's Dream kit in the 1.3 kilograms of hand-dyed yarns in all the various colours. Um, they're all going out tomorrow. So thank you to all of you who jumped in on that. That was awesome. Um, where are we? So much happening in the chat. Hey, Kathleen Champ, welcome to the chat. If only you had a tech wench as well. Yes, wouldn't that be nice, <coughs> Kim? <laughs> It was actually Kim who said it. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so this one's ready to move. There we go. Sorry, guys. Sometimes we do just have to wait. If we don't heat set our yarn enough or get enough heat into the water, um, it, it won't be colour fast, and that's just that's just bad. Here, do you want to pop that lid on before you lose any heat? Thanks. Now, the reality is sometimes we go through after the dye stream's over, we give them a bit more heat, then we give them their rinse out and see how they're going after that. Um, just to make sure that they are colour fast and that they're good to go and that everybody is happy. Because we want everybody happy. Um, Kathleen has snapped her wrist. Gosh, someone popped that in. Thank you, thank you. Kim for popping that in for me. Um, wow, that's insane. There's 45 people watching and only 30 people have hit like something I noticed. I don't know if it's still the case now, but even before the live stream was live, someone had disliked it. So I was like, oh, thanks for that, for, you know, making sure that YouTube know people want my content, even if it's disagreeable. Because YouTube don't care. They don't care if you thumbs up or thumbs down. I personally prefer the, the thumbs up, but YouTube would just want people to interact. So you commenting, hitting the thumbs up, sharing the video in your groups that you think would be interested, things like that. YouTube are very happy with. And as we know, I do try to keep YouTube happy for the most part. Sometimes I'm like, because apparently live streams, YouTube likes them, but also if you've got pre-record videos like I do as well, then YouTube isn't friendly with the two together. They like it if you do one or the other, but I'm just like, you know, whatever's YouTube. Um, Kim says, you can't comment if you're timed out, just saying. If you were here last week, I think it was last week, it was last week, I accidentally timed, well, no, I purposefully timed Kim out, but I accidentally did it twice. And uh, so Kim had to sit there and twiddle her thumbs for some time Turns out um, other mods can't time out a mod, but I can. So, you know, remember that, spanner wielders. Remember that. Um, <laughs> where are we? Too busy watching the pretties. Oh, thank you for liking Michelle P. I appreciate that. Look, and that's the thing. Like, I'm the same. Sometimes I'll like at all different points during a video. Um, oh, Andrea's topping up hot water buckets in the background. This is great. Um, she was gone for 10 minutes. Yes, yeah, she was. She was totally gone for 10 minutes. <laughs> Andrea said it was the quietest the chat's ever been. She tried to mumble that, Kim, just so you know, just so you're aware that, you know, Andrea is now my friend, you know, because I do that. I steal people's friends, just so you know, you know, it happens. Um, <laughs> Andrea's trying not to cack itself over here. It's quite funny, quite funny to watch, actually. Wish you guys could see it. Anyway, we are going to move on. Moving on, we have pans and we need to pop away the little kitty. Bye-bye, kitty. And we have got this gorgeous teacup. Now, it's a bit torn on what I could do for the teacup because, as we all know, my skills do not lie in the speckling realm. But guess what? We're going to speckle. Speckling. I should probably dry my glove. Um... Also, I probably need a teaspoon, which I didn't think about. I've got some plastic teaspoons somewhere. I don't know where they are. That's okay. I'm going to speckle with my fingers instead. Finger speckling. So, um, what do you guys think? Do you think I speckled in some beautiful blues and pinks and yellows and greens 
would be better on a DK or a four ply or should we do a bit of each? Just out of curiosity, I just need to pop that back up there. Speckle, 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 yay for speckles. I think they're happy about speckles. I think everyone's happy that I'm speckling. Um, Kylie, I need you to not judge my speckles, please. That would be great. Because <laughs> Kylie is amazing speckles. Let's see blue, pink, yellow, and green. Yes, we'll definitely be speckling them. Um, lots of people talking about how they barely survived Monday night. It's Crochet O'Clock's live stream. I don't know what happened there. I think I'm going to have to go back and watch it. Speckles in DK from Stephanie Lansbury. Let's... I don't know why that got, you know, modded. Um, try to let, oh, here we go. Some advice from Kylie, the speckling queen. Try and let your blue and yellow speckles combine for green. Oh, I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. I think I'll do that. Okay, so uh, we've what, how have we got speckles in DK, speckles in DK. Crochet clock wants a bit of everything. Leanne says it's been so long for a speckle. <laughs> it really has. It really, I stress, I stress so much when I'm speckling you guys. It's terrible. Um, can't, oh, can't watch a video that didn't happen. Oh, that's right, because she didn't stream. Last week. That was last week though. Did she, she streamed this week though, right? I thought she streamed this week. Um, did you time, oh, did somebody time out Kathleen? Maybe I did. I don't know. Someone could probably tell. My finger is too, like, like I'm not kidding. Like when I'm saying like, you know, like I'm trying to mouse with, a, with this on and my finger is actually there. So, you know, makes my hands look nice and long though. I really like this look, except the reality is that. <laughs> I got short fingers, you guys. I got short fingers. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> Kim says it wasn't her, it was Sally. Uh, no crochet. Oh, here we go. She did stream this week. What the what? You should get kid size gloves. But the problem is I've got little fat hands and wrists, so I can't wear kid size gloves because they don't go on but the rest of my, you know, bits. And so I've just got the short fingers, but the – anyway. Enough of that. Madam, may I please have two in the DK and two in the um, four-ply? Thank you. Oops, I should probably turn the heat on that one. It's all warm. That's good. Okay. DK. We're going to speckle, you guys. We're going to speckle. I'm a bit terrified. It's been a long time since I've speckled. Are you right, Andrea? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. The cable tie came undone on Andrea. Evil cable ties. I'll just move my head out of the camera. Sorry. Just because of where this pan's located to get in shot. Oh, what happened here? There we go. There we go. Oh, guess what? The neighbours are constructing again. That noise was not here. That was next door. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Um, someone's talking about autocorrect on their iPad. <laughs> um, there we go. Question for the dyes. How hard is it to create a colour that is close to yarn you can't find? Oh, it can be tricky. Um, but it, it can also be done close enough, as long as close enough is good enough. Um, you need to find a dyer who's happy to do that though, because that's the other catch. A lot of dyers won't dye something else another dyer has done. I won't. Um, even, so, if, but, I mean, it's a bit trickier if it's a commercial yarn, but sort of similar sort of rules in my brains. All right, we've got a bit of wa enough water in there. Okay. I have to speckle now, people. I have to speckle now. Um, Andrea's gonna, Andrea, would you mind just standing here and talking to the people for a second while I find oh the goodness. teaspoons? <laughs> I'm going to go find teaspoons so I speckle a bit more carefully. What am I talking about? I don't know. Oh, my God. Just nothing evil, okay? No, nothing evil, okay. Hi, everyone. You can read the chat when 
Okay, I'm going to read the chat because I'm so new at this. Okay, so how's everyone today? What's everyone working on, maybe? I don't know. Hi, Deidre. You need to dry your glove. No, I don't have gloves on. <laughs> Tell everyone her dying secrets. Well, Kim, it's like this. If I do that, I'm going to be out of a job. And I really, really enjoy working here. Hello, Oddbite Nice. Hey, Leanne. A five-point star blanket. That sounds really interesting. I've seen a lot of those done on the internet. Hello, Pippin. Oh, hello, everyone. <laughs> this is so, no, I didn't get any brownies. No. Did she have brownies? Did you have brownies? <laughs> she had brownies. <laughs> they would have been stale. Oh, no, totally. And I brought Krispy Kreme, so I think I'll take those home now. <laughs> I already ate one. Oh, I know. Right, I found a couple of spoons. Okay, we've got a couple of spoons. I'm going to pass you back to Chantel. See ya. You've got my thing in your pocket. I do too. <laughs> Not walk away with that. Because you'll just rip the laptop down. Hi, guys. Thank you for being kind to Andrea. Well, I, I'm assuming you were kind to Andrea. That was a fairly big assumption right there, wasn't it? Okay. I'd but nice is working on some Tunisian crochet. Jackie's at work playing with maps. Um, she got them Monday. You could have had some Tuesday. Oh, I gave it to Dad. I gave the last one to Dad. Sorry. Foz. Sorry, Andrea. No, no. Well, he just said, who's, who's eating this thing in a paper bag? And I was just like, well, you are, obviously. Um, Kimberly May is saying hi to Andrea. Hi. <laughs> All right. Deep breaths. Um, I'm going to go with... That was very loud on my end. How loud is the construction next door for the rest of you? It's very loud for me. All right, I'm going to go with the yellow first. I'm going with um, the gold ochre, just because I wanted a warmer yellow. Do we want the warm? That was, yeah. Yes, it was the ochre. Yeah, it was the ochre. That's right. I'm just thinking, because we had a discussion before, and I changed my mind, and I'm tossing up. I was thinking, was this the one I changed my mind to, or the one I changed my mind from? Anyway. Um, I've got a spoon. <laughs> My spoon doesn't fit in the dye container. Andrea's over here cacking herself. Oh, oh, and I just dropped the other spoon into the bucket, so now that's wet. Oh, my God, this is a comedy of errors, you guys. Stop it, Andrea. Worst friend ever. Now, the other problem is this morning, I don't know why, but my hands are a bit shaky. I noticed it when I was live streaming on Insta, so I don't know how this is going to go. It could be very bad. I do need like a small tea strainer or something. But the problem is, I really struggle to keep my family out of the dye stuff. Like, I've got different scourers and different stuff that I use for the dyeing pan so that we don't have anyone. Here we go. There we go. That made more sense, didn't it? So that we don't have anybody um, accidentally um, eating toxic dye because this is not – I should really have a breathing mask on, guys. So safety, safety note, I'm speckling with powdered dye and I did not think about it, but I should have a breathing mask on or at least a dust mask. So if you're speckling at home, I totally need to have a mask on, okay? So um, that's totally my bad. And I, and that's one of the reasons why I struggle with speckling is because masks and me aren't the best of friends. I do have masks here. I bought some new ones. Okay, that's what I'm going to... Oh, hello, nearly tripped over in my thongs, in my work boots. Okay, we're going to go with the blue next. It's in a giant container, so I should totally be able to get my spoon in. I'll grab that. Would you mind giving that a little zhuzh up for me so I can pink with it after? All right, now we're going to go with a bit of the blue to try. We've got some beautiful little blue flowers. So, and I'm going to go with Kim's, um, Kim, 
with Kylie's suggestion of trying to mix some of the blue and the yellow together so we can get some green sections. Come on, little gentle bits of blue. But I also want some of the blue by itself. So we've got the blue for the flowers too. I'm so stressed out doing this, you guys. You have no idea. I'm literally sweating. And it's not that hot. I mean, we're out here in the die in the die house, which is my patio. Um, in winter, in a t-shirt and thongs, because I'm a bogan. Oh, that was a bit much blue there. So is there a trick, Kylie, if you accidentally put too much sprinkles somewhere? I'd love to know that 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 knowledge because I do that all the time. That's a that's a faux power of mine. Sorry guys, I'm just concentrating and I'm, I'm a bit stressed. So I talk less when I'm concentrating and stressed. Andrea's like, oh my God, we need to do this more often. <laughs> less talking? Holy cow. Let me have a read of here. Abby, Abby, why are you, Abby, you, it's a school day and you should be in class. Like what is going on? Why are you in the chat? But, you know, thanks. Thank you for coming in the chat. Um, <laughs> um, where are we? Game Widows is off to her knitting group because we clash with time zones. That's Australian for flip-flops. That's exactly right, Elizabeth. You're quite right. Um, apparently, Abby can run better in thongs than who? Because, like, you can run better than me at any time. Thongs, shoes, whatever. Um, see, I struggle with the pinch and drop because I have this whole my gloves are too big problem and I end up with throwing stuff everywhere. Um, can you throw a potato in it like if you add too much salt? Probably not. Probably not. Um, in America, we have writ dye. Writ dye is generally for cellulose fibres like cottons and things. I'm using, uh, what have I got here? I've got the Jacquard dies out at the moment, which I just need a bit more blue. Sorry, I've just realised I was stopping to read the chat and I've still got to finish doing blue because I put the blue on the yellow bits but not the extra bits that I want. And I went with um, sky blue just because it's a little bit, um, I would say it's a slightly warmer blue. Is that? Can you even say warm blue? Like, honestly, blue is naturally a cool colour. But as far as blues go, this one is a bit of a warmer blue and makes me think more of that Delft blue. I don't know. Something beeped and a whole pile of stuff went off. Um, I'm still charging. All these cookers went off. All right, we lost power. Oh, no! I sprinkled too much blue. Maybe it was power that just turned off. Oh, they time out. Oh, actually, there's probably it's probably too dry. Um, just be careful where you pour it though. Don't pour it on top of the dye. Sorry, I'm just freaking out here, everybody. It's all good. It's because I'm stressed about this powder and stuff. Okay, a um, bit more over there. Move that tie out of the way. Oh, actually, I'll wait till you pour a bit of water in, and then I'll. Probably most of that jug. There you go. And then maybe a bit down in this corner. Because you can see there's actually no residual water in there. All right, that's enough. Excellent, thank you. I think this one's a similar problem, but we'll, it's all right, we can fix it later. I just freak out, you guys, like totally freak out. It's fine. It's fine. Um, wouldn't work better with a spice shaker type thing. Yep, yep. If you can control it, um, because it is one of those things where you know if you've got a, a big round shaker and you just want to tap it. Also, the dyes are all different. Um, not even just from brand to brand, but from colour to colour, the dyes themselves are a different texture. I know some people shake with salt in their shaker. 
um, and that works. Um, but yeah. All right, now we're going to go with a bit of pink. A bit of pink. This pink is ridiculously fine. This is just a straight up jacquard pink. And I'm just trying to work out what sort of amounts we need. Sorry, I am. I'm concentrating so hard, guys. I'm not watching the chat. I'm very sorry if uh, you feel neglected today. Speckles. I should have thought about it eh, and not done them. Although you guys seemed pretty keen. Pretty keen for speckles. Now, the other side of this is very cream and it's going to stay very cream. I'm not going to turn it. Um, I want the extra cream because it's a cream teacup or an ivory coloured teacup. And so we've got all our speckling on one side, so we'll have a gentle speckle through your project. Um, down here it just needs a bit of something. Same with this end. All right. Lids on. Try not to have a dye catastrophe like we did with the yellow. What do you think? What do you think? Where's my cup of coffee? I'm just going to let that sit for a second, then I'll pop their lids on and we can have another chat. This is very pretty. Okay. Yeah, chuck a, chuck a dome over it, yeah. Okay. Um, we just need to, how are we going for heat in here? That's right, we'll take them away and then, yep. oh actually we'll get some heat, this one's off, this one's heating up. Alright, where are we? It's looking good. Um, very pretty. You sure you want to drink coffee after speckles? That's actually a really good point, I probably shouldn't. Leanne says, it's okay you're feeling a bit anxious. We're watching and chatting and chilling. Oh, that's good. Thank you, Leanne. I appreciate that. I know Spotlight has some very tiny bottles. Botties? I don't know what that says. Did the blue and green combine? Look, it didn't really. We've got some, there's a few little spots. I'm actually thinking I might just want to put just a, a little dash of green in there just to lift it. Um, I think I will. I think I'll just a little bit of green. Which is the green I want? Not that one. Hang on. I'm just going to lunge over here. I'm just looking for the Kelly green. There it is. Yeah, I did, but I put it away. No, that's chartreuse. Oh, should we go Kelly green or chartreuse? It looks like it's yellow, but then it's got little green band. That's it. All right, I'm torn. Which one should we go? Chartreuse or Brilliant Kelly Green? Um, well, I mean, the problem if you make it wetter, it spreads the dye. And see here, you can see in this corner, um, there's uh, where we poured in some of that water, the water itself has gone a little pink. Um, and so that's going to make the yarn pink. So it's not got... Um, have you got moss green? I don't know. Do you want to have a little quick squeeze in the little? I know I don't have it in the big, but I've got heaps of these little ones. Andrea's just having a quick look. I've got some emerald, I know for sure, but I'm not sure about moss. It doesn't ring a bell. Um, let's see the green. The problem is the greens in the powder do not translate to what they look like in the um, in the pan. I found the emerald. We've got emerald. Emerald and spruce. No moss. So, uh, do you want to pass up the emerald? We might go with a little dash of emerald and a little dash of um, Kelly or chartreuse. 
Kelly green is very bright. It is very bright. Yeah. I love that though. I mix it with like other colours to darken it though. Um, Kelly green with a bit of grey looks really good. Alrighty. We made greens. <coughs> we mixed some greens. We made a green mix. Let's see how it looks. I just mix it up a little bit. I just mix up my green mix so that they speckle together well. All right. Let's just try. Where's a spot that's really pat, like really white, so I can compare the pair. I'm so sorry about the noise next door, you guys. It just seems to be that no matter when I ask them to be quiet, it's just like it was it's like an invitation for them to make more noise. All right. There we go. It might be a little bit bright, sorry. Um you need little samples of each colour. Kylie wants to die now, but she's got wedding nails on. Well, you can't die. You're going to a wedding. You've got to, got to keep that beautiful. Because it will totally wreck your wedding nails. You know it will. Um, oh, you, you guys can't hear the neighbours. Oh, that's fantastic. Because we can hear them. They're yelling and they're drilling and it's very loud. Okay. Yep. So I've made a little table here using one of the very few lids that we have. So I'm going to, yeah, do you want to, I'll just turn that off. And we'll colour set those later. They're warm and we'll get a lid on them so they'll be all right. That one's actually probably not as warm as it needs to be, but we'll sort it out. We'll just make sure we don't do anything silly. Okay, where are we at? My fingers still get dye even with gloves. Oh, so do mine. Absolutely, without a doubt. <clears throat> without a doubt. So, I'll steal this pan. Oh, sorry, sorry. All right. Okay, I'm going to take this glove off. My hand is sweating. <laughs> <laughs> totally did not make it to the bench. Oh my gosh. Um, where are we? Freaky says their nails are natural. Mine are not. Well, mine are natural too, but they're naturally bad. Um, wow. Awesome, lovely colorway. That green filly finished. Uh, excuse me. I've got a frog in my throat. Kylie says the green really finished it off nicely. We'll see how it looks once it's all dry and I haven't destroyed it. No, no, it's good. Yeah, it's still good. I do, I do drink it cold. I know, but, you know, it's been, like, dyed and... No, it's good. Okay. I'll put it over there. Does that make you feel better? Okay. That's all right. <coughs> sprinkle lids. Everyone's talking about sprinkle lids. All right, now we've got another colour here that someone put up. I'm just going to switch over, um, get rid of the teacup, bye-bye teacup, and bye-bye teacup, thank you, and hello plant. Wow. So we need pink and green. So I've got like a, a little bit of weak vermilion that I'm going to add some pink to to get that nice sort of colour. We've got, I've got a 
make up another green. Can you pass me over one of those big bottles, please? Um, because we end up using a lot more dye in some of these than I had anticipated. Oh, get a grip. I turned you around. There you go. Are you okay now? Jeez. Um, the cooker just had a little hissy fit. Because it's like this one's got the better camera angle, but this one's better for me, if that makes sense. So I want to do this. Try and... All right. Um, we want a nice, I want to, can you pass me over some of that wild raspberry over there, please? This is, a, we're going to mix in a bit of, um, a landscape dye. It makes a really pretty sort of raspberry pink kind of colour, which I really love. Thank you. And it's also extremely bright. So you need, like, I've got the 132nd, 132 as we like to call it here at Vibrific, and the 132, which is literally like, it's called a drop on these measuring spoons I've got. I reckon that'll be enough, but we can always add a bit more. You can't take away, but you can add. Oh, you, oh thanks, Andrea. And just going to give that a shaky McShaker pants for us. I'm also going to make up a nice green. I'm going to go hard. Well, not go hard. I'm going to pop in a bit of Kelly green and a bit of emerald. Um, just to, so a little bit of emerald, so it's got that blue green to it, and then a bit of the Kelly green, just because, oh, that's chartreuse, just because I'm mad for the Kelly green, I love it so much, I love it in everything, but again, it's another insane one, you only need the tiniest amount, actually, I might just, I want that green to be a bit more, like, aggressive, so, so I don't have to squirt quite so much in. Hey, Andrea, you know how you've got the cloth for shaking? Yeah, just be careful. I think it's this, these particular bottles that leak. Yep. We had a, we had a, um, an explosion with the ochre um, that we did the first photo with, which was that it, uh, I got covered in it and so did Andrea. So that was great. That's why we wear black. <laughs> so you can't tell when we're covered in dye. Um, she has no sink, silk. That's right. I'm currently out of silk. I'm very sorry, Kim. Um, we're going to do this one in um, a full ply. So, because we've only got one pan left, you guys. Um, <laughs> Allegra says, oh, oh, yeah, I learnt about the intensity of landscape dyes. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> she's written so much green. <laughs> um, where are we? Yeah, it's it's de uh, yeah. Kim wants it on Pegasus. Yep. yep, Pegasus. Here we go, Kim. We got two that we're going to do in Pegasus. And again, we want a little bit of the cream because there is white in the photo. Um, but we also don't want too much. We just want a bit. Now, this pan dried out a bit, but because we're not going to be sprinkling, we're going to be pouring dye. It's called direct pour method or squeegee bottle or whatever you want to call it. Direct pour, I think, is the technical term. Ha! And it's a real one. It's not even a made-up one by me. It's a proper, legit one. No scoffing. <laughs> All right, so I want to start with a bit of the green first and then do a bit of the pink, and then we'll see how it goes. And we will flip these and give them a bit more as well. Um, Elizabeth says, where do you sell your yarn? I sell my yarn at fibrific.com.au. Lots of yarns there. Tomorrow, the ones of these that aren't scooped up by the photo owners will also be available. Um, Allegra says, turns out one dessert spoon for a litre was way too much. Oh, my God, yes. Wow. That would make it insane. Um yeah, freaky geek, even a teaspoon is too much for a litre of yarn. So that's hardcore bad. Um, Kim's popped up a link. Thank you, Kim. Um, Allegra says it was actually between. It was a plastic dessert spoon. All right, so we're going to start with a bit of the green because, you know, we just drew colours together and I want to see what it looks like and because I'm, I'm curious. So I just, I'm going to move the chat to the other side just so I can keep an eye on the photo. There we go. So we want a bit of green, but we want some good pops of pink. So we need to like some sections of green. Uh, 
Okay. That's off, yep. I don't want to go sticking my plastic bottle onto it on cooker. And then we want some we want some softer light sections of the pink, but we also want some like <laughs> sections of this purpley pink colour that we've made here. So we want to go like this, some really bright bits that they've got right down near the inner stems of those flowers or plants. We could probably even go hard and speckle a bit of the um, landscapes just directly on top of that. And now we just want to add in some hues of this pink around the edges. Get some of it blending with a little bit of the green, just like the plant does. We still have some green by itself. Okay. So what we're going to do is give that just a little second just to take some of that colour. Um, yeah, so those spoons are deep. I oh, know. Carol just joined the chat. Hey, Carol. Um, bluey green. It's Yeah, It's well, it's definitely a green, but it's... I don't know. It's that I think the screen colours are not working, you guys. Um, Kim says um, after the stream, there's the um, she's popped the link in for the Fiberific Limited. So thank you. Um, where do I get my plastic bottles from? I tried some from the two dollar shop and they leaked everywhere. Um, yeah, two dollar shop leak everywhere bottle. These ones. So I don't recommend those. Um, I picked. I actually hit for this one. I hit an online, um, what are they called? I think I've still got their little name on them, Trentons. Um, I got these from an online catering store. Um, I regret the size I bought. There was a smaller bottle I should have probably bought with my little hands. Um, but I was just thinking, oh, I could make up, you know, like 750 mils of dye. I didn't think that I had to hold, you know, 750 mils of dye. These are the Trenton bottles. These are fine and they handle heat a lot better. These are the ones that explode when the water's too warm. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, let's 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 not go there. Um, Allegra says, looks like a kitchen supply store, but yes, absolutely. Um, fits the picture. Oh, that's good. I'm glad it's fitting the picture. Um, all right, I'm going to give this a little a little flip now, and we'll get a bit of colour on the other side. But again, we don't want too much because we want some of the cream to stay. We're just hoping that these don't bleed together too much now that I'm adding, you know, more moisture as they flip over. Fingers across that I haven't destroyed it. That's my concern every time I flip yarn is, did I just trash the other side? That's my concern with pretty much everything. Did I just trash that? So there we go. Now we're going to get a little bit more of the green in. Green stripes. And a bit more of the pink. I really do like this pink. It's a mix of um, very weak vermilion from um, Jacquard. I had to think about that for a second there. And also um, some of the wild raspberry from Landscapes. So that's it there. Probably my favourite landscapes colour right there, you guys. A little tip. Um, for those playing at home, this is a tricolour oyster plant. Thank you, Kim. It's nice to know what they're called. Should we add sprinkles on or should we just leave it as is? It's your call, Kim. What do you think? Sprinkles or as is? Um, we should ask for a picture of her hands at the end of the stream to see how coloured they become. I think you'd be disappointed today. There's a little bit of yellow from our earlier mishap, dash of blue. There are days, however. <laughs> there are definitely days where I have blue smurf hands or something like that. Um, as is. Yeah, I'm thinking as is is enough because we've got some bigger splotches of the pink on the other side. It's, it's nearly a bit watermelony, I think. Just need to get a bit more heat in there just so it'll colour set. Oyster plant, that's right. Chris is wanting raspberry sprinkles. I think Chris just wants me to do sprinkles again, don't you, Chris? You're just like, yeah, sprinkles. Do the sprinkles. 
I think the colours need to be a bit more intense. It will be much lighter once dried. All right, let's put some sprinkles in. Just to, I'll, I'll be careful. I'll be very careful, Andrea. Also, the, the big difference between the landscapes and the um, jacquard is jacquard don't pre-mix their dyes with citric acid, so it's, a, it's quite a fine powder. Landscapes can be a fine powder, but it's also ground already with citric acid in it, which is why, like, this jar will dye the same amount of yarn as this jar, or, you know, similar. Or so they say. That's what they say. All right. I'm just putting a tiny bit on the spoon at a time because this stuff is insane. And I just want to get it on the pink a bit, so I don't want to get it on any of the green if I can avoid it. Oh, got some on the green. Well, I did say if I could avoid it, right? I'm being very sparing very sparing I'm trying to be very sparing do you hear that die I'm trying to be sparing damn it there's a little spot there I'm just nervous that if I sprinkle in there it might be a bit damp but I'll try all right that's it that's the sprinkles can you see how it's already sort of soaking in and running out and it's that really hot? I think that's going to do it. Um, you should use the handle. No, I need to use, I need to hold the handle. Kim. Kim's bossing me around. Uh, maybe I should just time her out. Yeah. Um, Personally, I'd say do a little bit of speckling in the green, not as much as you are in the pink, but a little bit. Oh, the trick with the green was it's a mixture of two different greens. So should we spec? I think we should speckle with the darker of the two, not with the lot brighter. Oh, that one's a dye one. Thank you. I just want to wipe this. Oh. All right, thank you. I was just going to wipe that one. I just need to use this spoon to get it out. Thanks, Andrea. All right, we've got a bit of the emerald green to speckle on the green. We're going to see how it goes. I probably put a bit much in the spoon, so I'm a bit nervous. Yay, the neighbours went out. They're probably just going to Bunnings to buy more noisy tools. Good job, neighbours. Okay. <sighs> Breathing. Peer pressure. Yes, absolutely peer pressure. But I'd try to dye these to make you go, oh, no, big splodgy green. Try to make you guys happy. You know, that's, that's the end of the day. We're playing. We're having fun with the colour. That's what I... I spend so much of my time working on my recipes and doing things that I um, can repeat, making sure I don't, don't forget to take notes. <laughs> That's a big thing in itself. Um, that getting to have fun with just this sort of thing is... Um, Andrew, do you reckon you could twist open that for me, please? I had way too much dye. I think I put too much on, but we'll see. We'll see how it comes out in the wash. Um, um, oh my gosh, Kim, you know she will if you throw the challenge. Is Kim threatening to, Kim making me time her out again? Um, lots of people, do you have any Leo 2 left? I, I do. They're not soaked. I've got four skeins of Leo 2 that are undyed left. Why? What do you have in mind, Kim? Just out of curiosity. 
You might have to get a big one of the deeper pans. Um, Nature's Crafts, hey, how are you going? Um, I'm just just seeing how these go because they're not very hot. We're going to have to reheat them all up. But, yeah, I mean, they're not also, they're not going to be damaged, so that's all right. What's your plan with the Leo 2, Kim, just out of curiosity? Because I thought you hated it. Kim's allergic to wool, you guys, and any any animal fibres. And so it's not so much that she hates it. It's probably more that it hates her. That's probably a better way to describe it, isn't it? Yeah. So she, you know, likes to poke at things but can't um, can't use them all. Um Kim Nelson says, maybe if you always have your helper, Andrea, you will have someone to take notes. I yeah. Yeah, yeah. Andrea's good at taking notes, although the problem being I, we forget who took the notes and Andrea takes her notes home. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm really happy with how this is coming out. This green's just really like going, it's really soaking in and going hard here. Um, I love it, though. I think it looks great. It gives me, yeah, it gives Kim splotches, absolutely. But Andy, uh, Maddie, her son, loves it and gets the fibres all through the house and makes it so Kim can't go anywhere in her own home. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, um, I, think we're, I think we're good. I think we're done for dyeing because we've got a lot of pans here. We're out of pans. Um we actually did a lot more smaller batches today, I think is what it was. I'm thinking, why are we out of pans? But we did. We made a lot more smaller batches. Um, Kim's definitely loving the more intense. Yeah, me too. I'm def It's definitely popping a bit. And the green's, pop the green's probably popping as much as I probably would have preferred the pink to pop. You know, like I'm looking at this from like a really like evil eye. And uh, yeah. We'll be in the fun zone tomorrow. What will be in the fun zone tomorrow, just out of curiosity? Um, you can do the other bright pink and green one from my picks too. I could, but I don't have any pans. So, um, yeah, it's or the only pans we've got are really big and deep and they'll take a long time to heat up and get everything ready. Please dye some mist on them. Pip and Poppycock, we dyed how many skeins of mist on the mohair? 12. We've got 12 skeins, so send me a DM. i got 12 skeins. They're just not on the website yet, but we, we dyed them this week. Um, oh, pictures of the dyed yarn will, will be over at um, fiberific.com.au uh, limited, um, fiberific limited. Kim, can you toss in a, um, a, a link? So I'll also put a link over on the fiberific fun zone, but the, the, um, I'll be putting all the pictures on my website. Um, Lindsay says, this is one of my favourites tonight, but it's hard to tell until they dry. Absolutely. It's ridiculously hard to tell until they've dried and they've been rinsed and skeined and all that sort of stuff. It's very hard because they do change colour. Well, I mean, they don't change colour. They change intensity. They definitely change intensity. These colour pops probably won't change intensity by much. It'll just be sort of as the rest of it dries. This pink around here will soften off. Um, the green will also soften off a little, except for where the splotches are. Um, Black Pearl Knits has made it. Hey, Black Pearl Knits, you're very, you'll need to rewatch for sure. But I'm glad that you made it. Um, and Kim's popped in a link of where all the Fiberific Inspo yarns will be tomorrow. So as we said, the um, those that have sent in the photos, they will receive a message on Instagram um, to um, so that they'll get notified if they want it or not. They need to let me know by a specific time. And then everything will end up on the website tomorrow by noon, my time. So, you know, that's in about half an hour for me. So by half an hour from now, tomorrow, they'll be up on the website. And it's totally a first-in, first-serve sort of scenario. Um, international shipping is available, but just, you know, so that you're aware, the international shipping is not cheap, just so you know. I only charge exactly what Australia Post charged me. I don't add any sort of buffer to shipping. Um, you're critical as I would be creating. I, I'm totally critical of myself for sure. Um, that's awesome. Nothing wrong with more of the original green. Would There's more on the other side. There's more because that's the other thing. We only speckled one side of this. The other side's not speckled for sure. Yeah. Um, Kim says it will make a lovely twisted hank on her shelf of fiberific that she will never use. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, speckles on top, even though this is, oh, hang on, speckles on top, even though this is for a fabulous, I'm afraid it's just going to eat up the lighter green when it's done, crossing fingers, because it's gorgeous. Oh, it is, absolutely, and I think it'll be lovely. And you're right, the speckle green will, I'm, I'm just moving this around just to even the heat, because the heat only goes in this section sort of thing. Um, yeah, the speckles will probably detract a little from the softer green, but as, it, as there's none of this darker green on the other side, and there's still a lot of cream as well, so, you know, it, it'll be a bit deceptive. We won't know until it's dry. Well, that's generally how it works, isn't it? Um, where's my oh God, I need my coffee, you guys. So, did you guys enjoy our live dye session today? Just checking, making sure they're having fun because you've got to have fun. Um, loving the current yarn. This will be so exciting to go back and see what you guys have been up to. Yeah, we've done, we've got four. Is that, this is our fourth? Uh, I can't remember. We did Chintamani's beautiful ochre and, which is being named the pizza. I know, yeah, it was a panty. Yeah. We did the kitty cat, um, the teacups. The teacups. And, and this yeah. one. Yeah, so we've got four colours today. Um, so, yeah, we got a few done. Um, oh, the chat's moving too fast. Could you speckle the second side of this once one side is exhausted? Um, I wouldn't, personally. Um, I'm not comfortable with it. You can totally try it and have fun. But the speckling, um, it, it, yeah, it takes a lot more to exhaust speckling. And it's not so much it needs to take it up. So, yeah, um, I'm not, uh, speckling's not my natural playground. You might be better off chatting with, um, with Kylie about that because speckling is more her thing. But I only speckle on one side um, just because I'm not comfortable with turning it once it's speckled. I always think I'm going to ruin it. Um, Leanne says, of course, looking forward to the pizza dry. Uh, she's hunting for yellows. <laughs> <laughs> But I do understand. It does look like pepperoni pizza now, you know, thinking of it. Um, is a takeaway from the dotting factor? Well, I mean, that's the thing. If it's completely exhausted, it should, it shouldn't, being the operative word, but I'd be nervous that it would. So I wouldn't, me personally. But. When you're dying for yourself, you learn what you're comfortable with by doing and you might find a really gorgeous way to dye that other people aren't doing quite so much by just experimenting and trying all these different things. You know, like for me, myself, I'm much more of a kettle dyer. I definitely prefer to semi-solid dye and glaze dye in a kettle and that's my natural um, where I like to dye. But I like to have fun in the pans doing some semi-solids, uh, sorry, doing some bits of speckling and, and things like that just, just, for, just for a bit of fun. Um, I don't repeat the colours that go in the pans ever because I'm not confident in that. I can try and get something similar, but I, I feel like I never get it exactly the same. Whereas when I'm kettle dyeing, that's where my confidence is. And so every dyer has their own point of confidence. Some people don't kettle dye at all. They don't like it. They don't enjoy it, so they don't do it. But they are queens and goddesses in these dye pans, and they make stunning, beautiful yarn. So... It's one of those things, there's so many different ways to do something. So try all the ways and work out which way you're happy with. Off my, you know, dying rant. <laughs> Going out of your comfort zone for a bit. You totally got to just try it because I just did semi-solid dying. And then when I moved into the glazing, just to try it, because it was out of my comfort zone, I really, really enjoyed it. And so I do a lot more glazing now as well. Um, can we have one big dying party where we're all together and do sheep and have popcorn in for Johnny's while we wait for the yarn to dry and do all our own colour? That would be fun. That would be fun. I think a big group dye day would be awesome fun. Unfortunately, we're in very, very spread out with lots of continents between us. Um, that, but that does sound like fun. You should. We used to have these bat parties like years ago, um, where we would all bring drum carters and everyone would bring a hundred grams of fibre and then we'd all sort of 
get a little bit of each of the fibres and we'd make our own bats using those different fibres. And we'd have sparkles and we had this stuff that was um, the recycled plastic from soda bottles that's a soft, it was a very soft fibre and all sorts of things. It was so much fun. So, um, you know, it was, and like I used fibres and colours I would never have used before and would be like, oh my God, where did you get that from? Because I love it now and I want more of it. And you'd learn and it's more enjoyable to um, do this sort of thing with friends, I think, if you can. But if you can't, take the enjoyment where you can and do it by yourself. Don't be afraid. Um, what's the difference between kettle and glazing? Okay, so technically speaking, probably nothing. But in my brain, how I differentiate, when I'm just kettle dyeing or pot dyeing, I'm doing um, a, a very semi-solid to nearly a solid of a single colour. When I'm glazing, my yarn has been soaked in an acid base, whereas when I'm kettle dyeing, I just wash it and have the acid in the water so that all the yarn takes the dye slowly and can be manoeuvred around to have less white spots. When I'm glazing, when I dip that yarn in, I want it to strike and hit and leave spots and miss spots. So I put in less dye than, than you would need for that particular colour and just let it um, strike where it will. And then when you pull it out, you pull, you hold your yarn up, you toss in the next colour, mix it up, and then glaze over the next bit. And you end up with colours mixing together like blues and pinks, make beautiful sections of purple, things like that. And you can keep glazing and glazing until, you know, there's a point where you make mud. So you kind of got to make sure you don't get there. But the only way you know that is by getting there. So you, then you can pull back. So glazing is, is definitely you need to have a bit more high acid in the yarn already. And you still I still use the kettle. Not everybody does, but I still use my pots because that's my comfort zone. And I will glaze that way. So, um, But, yeah, it's just experimentation and trying it and having fun. little tip when you're glazing is to remember um, I have my yarn on cable ties. So if I've glazed this bit like this, I'll pull the yarn so that the bit that was at the top is now at the bottom so that that bit that it would have gotten less of the previous colour gets more this time. So it's just little things. It's just little things. Right, no making mud. You know, you may like mud, but personally I'm not I'm not a big, you know, not a big wrong, not a big, you know, mud person. Um, I would be in jammies in the middle of the day, um, but it's bedtime for you guys. Guess I could go to Walmart. I'd blend in. Oh, gosh, I think I've missed something there. Um, did I spell diary? You might have but I would have just read it as dye, D-Y-E, because I always do. Kim says, don't mix all the primaries together. Um, yeah, don't mix all the primaries together. That's a pretty good, safe um, rule of thumb right there. Wildwood probably came out of this process. Yeah, Wildwood came out of a process of testing for Mystery Lace Club because um, I tend to have an idea of what I want for Mystery Lace Club, run a test through, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, and sometimes it doesn't work for the pattern that I've got for, um, you know, for that. So, where are we? Um, what's odd but nice yelling my name for? <laughs> um, Yeah, I don't know. I'm not, I can't scroll up from while I'm here, so I've, I've missed something for sure. I'm just making sure this is heat setting. I should probably stick a lid on it, but the other problem is when you pop a lid on it, while it does heat the top nicely, it also adds in the whole um, element of condensation, which if it goes into some of this dye, it's just really going to just wash out the speckles. Um, but, yeah, so, you guys, I'm, I'm done for today. I think I'm going to go and um, and hang some of these out, give them a wash, reheat some of them. So keep an eye out for tomorrow. If your photo was one of the ones used in today's dye stream, keep an eye out on Instagram. Probably in about six or eight hours, um, they should be ready to go. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to head off and I will catch you all next week for a standard dye stream. Um, it has been, it's going to be crazy. I'm going to be at Redlands on Tuesday. If you're in the Brisbane area, go Check out um, in my Instagram feed. I've got some information on the Redlands Open Day. I'll have my stall there. Um, and you can come and check out the yarn. Anything that doesn't sell tomorrow is going to be at Redlands. Um, and also there's a free pickup. So on my website, if you want to pre-order 
anything but pick it up at Redlands, you can totally do that as well. So I hope you all have a fantastic day or evening or night and uh, we will um, see these yarns tomorrow. Bye.